Okay, one of the things that this came up when I was talking with Antoine, I said, Antoine, I noticed that you have a dark theme on your, you know, Orchard Court. How do you get the dark theme? And then basically he showed me a plugin that he did for the browser. <laughs> and I said, oh, okay. So I thought it would be kind of interesting to go ahead and, and create a dark theme because I don't think we have one. So I used Bulma because it's easy and it's all CSS. I mean, it's SAS basically. So there's no JavaScript aligned with it. So you don't have to worry about security issues or vulnerabilities. Um, they always keep it updated. And what's really nice about it is that it's modular. So you can take things out and add things which you don't want or whatever. So it, it's really super small and it's well documented and it's designed mobile first and it's compatible with all the different um, browsers. So, so in doing that, um, let's see here. I decided to use um, Webpack. So I know you guys use a different bundling tool, but being with Angular, Webpack is pretty popular. And so it was really easy to implement. So with Webpack, you can have different modes where you have production and, and, and development mode. And um, basically they have loaders and they also have plugins and such. So I'm, I'll go ahead and give you a, just a brief introduction of what I did. And so what I did is I actually took Webpack and I integrated it in with into Visual Studio. So the Visual Studio does the Webpack build there. So, okay, so here's my um, Bulma dark theme. And so basically here, if you go to the source here, this is, this is basically the, the SAS file here we talked about for, for Bulma. And you notice that everything's all, you can just load whatever components you want. And so if you don't need cards or tabs or media, whatever, you just take it out and it really reduces the size of your, your CSS here. And then you notice here, here's the Webpack configuration here. So I'm using some plugins that you notice here. Um, Minify, um, HTML Webpack plugin. So, and I won't go into a, a lot of this, but, and then I have just a simple um, package.json file that loads all the Webpack stuff and, and such. So I'm gonna go ahead and start Visual Studio and we'll just run it right from here. And you notice down here at the bottom, it says dependencies using NPM. This may take a few minutes. So it's actually building the, the doing the NPM install, and then it will run the Webpack configuration to create the SAS files and, and compress all the images as well. I guess we could take a look at that. Let's see if we can. There, it's it's doing the web pack right now. And you can notice that it built a distribution file. So here's all the files for the distribution that Webpack created. And then you notice we're, we're starting up here, our Orchard Core. Okay, so you fill in, we'll go ahead and select the Bulma dark theme here and then just go finish setup. So here you can notice here, you can actually, I have the login screen here. So we have a, 
the home screen. We have a blog screen, so it shows you all the blogs. And, the, and of course, we have um, taxonomies here, so we can switch on to taxonomies here. And here's travel. Go back, um, list all the tags, and here's all the different tags. So we can say go to Mars here. So we have our Mars. Um, head back, and we can do our search. So we can say let's search for Mars. And go look at our contact here, so we can enter our contact information. So, yeah, basically that that's it. Just a nice dark theme, and it's really easy to implement. And one nice thing about it here is the only JavaScript that I had to do, basically, if we go into the views here and go into like the layout here, um, this is the only JavaScript that we did for the hamburger button here, and that's it. And you don't have to worry about, you know, any other JavaScript. It's just, it's just what's here. So that's it. That's the the boom of dark cool. theme. Is it on uh, GitHub? It is. Yeah, it is on okay. GitHub. And I'm doing a video on that um, this week. I got half of it done, so it should be out maybe tonight or tomorrow. So if anybody is interested. Right, Bulma. Is it called the Bulma theme, or what do you dark, call it? Yeah, Bulma? Bulma dark theme. Yeah. Okay. And if I want it light, what do I change? What's that? If I want it a light theme. Oh, light theme. Yeah, I'm. I'm going to work on switching. Have a switch where you can switch between dark and light. And so that's one of my next tasks is to do that. And yeah, I'll incorporate that in the Bulma, Bulma theme. It'll be a Bulma theme, which will have dark and light. So that's my next, my next task. Okay, good job.